Good morning. I just want to show everybody real quick how easy it is to program the Kenwood TM-V71A transceiver uh, doing it manually on the rig itself. You don't need software. It's so easy. It's so quick. So you don't need to stress about any of that, I promise you. So the way to do it is first make sure you're in VFO mode. You can hit the button on the front of the transceiver. It says, uh, it says VFO on it. Then you want to pro plug in the frequency that you want. Now I have my, the D key on my microphone here is set to enter mode. So I hit that button, punch in the frequency that I want. I'm now set to 444000, but I need a positive offset. And as you can see, it's not set automatically here. For some reason, it doesn't do it. I'm going to have to check the menus. I thought it would do that automatically. So I'm going to hit the function reverse key. And that puts the plus sign there. That sets it to the positive offset. This particular free, uh, repeater also needs a PL tone. So I'm going to hit function. No, I'm going to hit the tone button first. And that's going to turn on tone. I want to use tone squelch. So I'm going to hit it again. And that's going to put the CT on the screen. That means that CT CSS squelch is turned on. So now I have tone squelch. Now I need to set the tone frequency. So I'm going to hit function tone and you turn the knob oh it was already set hmm. 162.2 is the tone I need and then we hit the tone button again this is now set I should be able to key up and get a response from the repeater let's check it out KM4 GIY testing all right there's the response so I know it's set now to program this into memory, you're going to hit the function key. And then see the 12 is flashing with the little arrow under it. That means there's already a memory program or a memory in there. So you're going to hit, turn the knob, see the 13's got it. The 14 doesn't have the arrow underneath it. So that means there's no, uh, pro, no memory programmed in channel 14. You're going to hit the uh, memory button. That's it. I am now programmed this frequency into memory location 14 and that should work again km4 giy testing and i got the response if you want to set a name hit the function and then hit the uh, tuner and it's menu item 200 just push again turn the knob to whatever you want to name this Hit the button when you get to the letter. Uh, let's see. When you get to the end, leave it blank. Hit the button again. Hit F to get out. I think now it's set to the name. So that's how easy it is to put a repeater into the TM-V71A. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos on basic stuff and some more uh, videos about how to cross uh, band repeat and do some echo link fun in the future. All right, it's KM4GOI 73.